الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد احبت فلا السلام علیکم رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said He who turns away from my sunnah is not from me He said Man raghiba an sunnati falaysa minni Whoever turns away from my sunnah is not from me This shows us the importance of adhering to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Which I think is no mystery, it doesn't take in-depth explanation but it's a reminder it reminds us that we need to always try to come back in our lives to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa we should not desire an alternative path the prophet alayhi abdul salatu wasalam also said a habit of Allah in the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'anhu radiallahu ta'anhu the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, All of my ummah will enter paradise except those who refuse. It was said, Who will refuse? He replied, Whoever obeys me enters paradise and whoever disobeys me has refused. And this is in Bukhari. Imam Zuhri one of the tabi'een. He said, The people of knowledge who came before us used to say, Salvation lies in clinging to the sunnah. And this is reported by Ad Darami in his Sunan. Imam Malik, Rahmatin Wasi'a. He states, The Sunnah is like the Ark of Nur. Whoever embarks upon it reaches salvation, and whoever refuses is drowned. Ahabatifillah, all of these narrations from the Sunnah of the Prophet to those Athar of the Salaf. They show us the importance of striving in our lives to try our best to cling to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and that we shouldn't just pay lip service to that. And the way that we can appropriately <clears throat> that we can appropriately understand the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, so we know what to adhere to. It's through talab al-ilm. It's through seeking knowledge. So that's why I advise myself and my brothers and sisters to seek knowledge. To strive and use some of your time throughout the day to read from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa and the aqwal of the ulama and the statements of the scholars in order to understand those divine texts. And to be able to contextualize the divine text. That is how, by raising your level of knowledge, you'll know, number one, what the sunnah is. Secondly, you will gain insight in how to practice the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And thirdly, you will have an idea about what contradicts the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so you'll know what the sunnah is and what to stay away from that only comes through ilm and nafiyah it only comes through beneficial knowledge and that's why I advise myself and brothers and sisters to at the level ilm to do some seeking of knowledge reserve some time throughout your day to read, to study, to come closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that's why I enjoy teaching to revise the book and the sunnah and the understanding of the salaf of this ummah because we need that. We need that reminder. We need to understand and contribute 
and strive in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Azza wa Jal. And that only comes through al manafia It only comes through beneficial knowledge, knowing and understanding what the sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we ask Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with a class with the bat and raise us up amongst the ranks of the righteous so that way we can be better slaves of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala worshipping him and him alone alone and calling to the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam based on ilm wa fiqh wa basira and not our desires wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam